the starting gun for the slalom finals. Who's the first to be away on his board? Robbie Nash is already certain of his overall World Cup victory, but will he also manage to win the slalom event? Conditions are extreme, wind force 8 on the scale of Beaufort peaking to 9. Nash is ahead. He smells victory and his style is aggressive. He only has a slight edge though. Ken Winner is right at his heels. Both take risks, both lose their balance. Ken Winner is washed clear of his board but recovers quickly. Robbie Nash, however, is first to regain speed. And then it happens. Nash falls again, and Ken Winner uses this to advantage. For Robbie Nash, born in Hawaii, the North Sea water must feel extra cold, and it appears he hasn't got a chance. is back on the job he does not give up yet in the next round he has joined the lead group again Nash is back in the race pursued by Kai Schnellbacher and Charlie Mesmer amongst others tension reaches a peak but Schnellbacher also has his problems there's a land wind which causes sails to empty near the buoy just off the beach under those circumstances it's difficult to keep one's balance and it's again Robbie Nash who wins the slalom in Scheveninger also he has won his third world title. On the slalom ranking list, he's followed by Charlie Mesmer and Kurt Launert. After the contest, Nash goes back into the water and jumps once more, just for fun. Robbie, you're, you're three times world champion. How does it feel? It's good. I'm going to go get my waveboard and get some jumps. Okay. Robbie Nash, three times world champion. The tension is over. He changes his slalom board for a waveboard. Now he'll show what he really can do.
was a perfect demonstration and a worthy end to the windsurfing World Cup 1983. By winning all three events, horse racing,